784. What are your requirements, please? One Japanese passport, one first class ticket Tokyo, one shortwave radio transmitter. 3807. What are your requirements, please? Credentials for typewriter salesman, one raw microfilm, one zero type explosive. 4739. What are your requirements, please? Two lumps. Right. Oh, good morning, Mr. Grant. Right, uh, morning, James. Morning, Green. Morning, Hills. Oh, good morning, Mr. Reed. Good uh, morning. Morning, Green. Good morning, Jones. Good morning, Hills. Uh, good morning, Mr. Thomas. Good morning. Uh, um, uh, what is your name? Uh, 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 no, I was right. This is very, very serious, gentlemen. The consequences are bound to affect our whole security network, especially at this particular time. MI5 have lost an exceptional man. Major Cavendish was both daring and resourceful, and he had to die like that. Urgent for signature, sir. SELECT is an international crime organization that's been giving us headaches for longer than I care to think about. For years, we tried to penetrate SELECT. Major Cavendish succeeded. Uh, how did he manage it? By posing as an assassin and gaining their confidence. The advanced information he sent through to us enabled us to prevent disasters in Berlin, Prague, Cairo. Uh, did he discover where they intend to strike next? Yes. London. London? He was being sent over here to make contact with their agents. Do, um, do Schlecht know he's dead, sir? No. What is it? Uh, urgent uh, for signature. They were hoping to sabotage the trade talks between the Russian delegation and this country. <laughs> Have the Schlecht people over here ever seen Cavendish? Oh, no, he hasn't been near the U... What is it now? Thank you. Somewhere out there, select agents are waiting to contact the deceased major. Oi! Hey! <laughs> North of the border, down Southampton way. C C C. Coffee, please. Any sugar? Yes, please. Good lad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Does your mother come from Mexico? Black coffee. And why not? <laughs> for nothing, you know. Get the atmosphere of the thing. Olé! Let's have one. Olé. Come on. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way. Lovely. I know that one. A knockout. It's a long way to Tipperary, to a stand shot, I think it's a long way. Schlecht. Huh? Schlecht. Aren't we all? 
Come on, I'll smash your face in. Reception party, Cosmopolitan Hotel, room 2512. What? Cosmopolitan Hotel, room 2512. Reception party. Oh, yeah. Oh, la, da, da, da. Hey, come on, come on. Cheer up, cheer up. Hey? <laughs> I don't want to cheer you up. There's a party at the Cosmopolitan Hotel if you want to go. That'll be two or six for the coffee, please. It's the froth that makes it expensive. I'm not interested. Oh. Oh, well, if you are interested, you ask for a fella called, um... It's just two things for the coffee. Just a moment. Yes. Did you say slacked? No, no. Slacked. I think it's a Scottish fella. For the coffee. Two and six, please. Now, what did Major Grant say? Two and six. Somewhere out there is a slacked <gasps> agent trying to contact Major Cavendish. They've never seen Major Cavendish, so anyone could take his place. Eh? It's just a question of finding the agent. <laughs> the code word. Two and six, that's all over. Two and six. I've got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Coppers will do. You've given the code word by accident. Yes. You've been mistaken for somebody else. Well, I, I only said two and six. You see, it's the froth that's expensive. I tell you what, for you, we'll forget the froth. One and nine. Now, put the hat on and come with me. Yes. I've got my hat on. What do you mean, I can't come with you? What are you talking about? Oh, he's going to do the caramba bit in the CCCs. And the when you come <laughs> home again to Wales. Oi! Hello! See? Well, they do rather enjoy it, don't they? They love it, you see. It's part of things. Yeah. Shut up and come with me. Certainly, yes. Incidentally, yes. you've forgotten your change. Oh, thank you. Come on, Right. Oh, can I go now? Not yet. Can you remember exactly what you said to the man? Ole? CCC? Caramba? I might have said Edmond or Ross a couple of times. I can't really remember. <laughs> Did you actually do anything? Oh, I danced. How? How what? How what? How did you dance? Here. A bit of that I did. Did a bit of that. But I can't do it properly now because there's no tables, you see, and no frothy coffee going. I specialise in frothy coffee, you know. Sir, he's got it all wrong. He danced more like this. <laughs> I, I dance more like Antonio. That was more like Elsie. No, it wasn't. You've got this sort of smoochy, swinging sway. Oh, by golly, that's good. Do you like it? Oh, it's a knockout. I could use that in the cafe. Oh. Excuse me. Job, then. Now, this teaches us nothing. We're left with the fact that they think he's one of them. I beg your pardon? 
Uh, we'll have to use him. Now that Major Cavendish is dead, we have no option. Well, of course not, of course, you see. But there is one little thing that puzzles me. Uh, what is that? What is it all about? Oh, it's very simple, really. Ah, now we're in. You see, uh, it's a, I can explain it. This, this man was, um, and he was caught up, in the, and, and you, you see, we didn't expect... Uh, we can't tell you everything. This is the Secret Service. Well, the way I see it is this. Now, stop me if I'm wrong. You must be in the Cosmopolitan Hotel tomorrow. You stopped me. I wasn't wrong yet. Gentlemen, there is one important factor that has been completely overlooked. Now, what is that? Which one of you said that? Well, I did. Are there any birds involved? Birds? Birds, son. But he knows nothing. Birds. Beautiful spies with negligees and things. There's never been an operation yet that hasn't exploited the physical attractions of women. Physical attraction of women? Ah, well, you see, that changes the whole thing completely, because if I'm going to get involved with fast women who use sex... I'm sorry about that. Oh, that's all right. Who use sex for their own unscrupulous ends. Well, I'm the man for the job. Oh, fine. Yes. You won't let anybody else in, will you? Because I have volunteered, you know. Oh, very well. Uh, Thomas, I want you to explain to him what he's supposed to be. I'll put a man in with you who knows what it's all about. Uh, could I be that man, sir? I'm sorry, Sage. We have to put an experienced man in. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. He's my buddy, buddy. Oh. oh, yes. Because if he doesn't go to the party, I'm not going to the party. What party? What party? The party at the Cosmopolitan Hotel. Didn't you know? He doesn't know. Yes, good Lord. They're throwing invitations out left, right and centre. Oh, very well, Sage. You'd better make it your job, then. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Mr... Uh... <laughs> no, 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 no. She's one of us. Well, I should make it easier, then. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't think he understands what's happening, sir. Perhaps it's better that way. I think we'd better place Conway in the Cosmopolitan Hotel to keep an eye on things. Right. Five one two was booked in Major Cavendish's name by telephone. I don't know who made the booking. Yes. The Soviet delegates arrived by plane today. There's to be a reception in the lounge given by officials from the Russian embassy. That's all, sir. All right. Keep your eye on things, Conway. Yes, sir. Now we just have to pray. <laughs> to be here, sir. If you've lost him, Sage. Uh, oh. Did you have much trouble finding the place? No, no, no. Came straight here. Good. Well, let's get started, shall we, old boy? Nice to have you along. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, it's our job to give you an entirely new personality and to make sure that you know all about Major Cavendish. Oh, yeah, well, don't you worry about that. <gasps> Are you all right? You've got a lovely colour. Now, first of all... How are you going? Here. Here's your passport. With your photograph in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that. There's enough money there for your immediate needs. 
And remember, from now on, you are Major Cavendish. Right. What are the special shoes? What special shoes? Special shoes? Yes, the special shoes. With the, with the knives and the toe caps. We don't have things like that. Yeah, and the fountain pens. Fountain pens? shoot bullets. Pium, pium, pium. Saves you writing home. No, no, <laughs> we don't have things like that. We walk about like perfectly normal people. Oh, yeah, perfectly normal people with a tear gas capsule in your ear. It's the master spy bit. Master spy? Yeah. You want to get those romantic ideas out of your head? We laugh at master spy here. <laughs> Do we really? <laughs> of course. That's storybook stuff. Agents don't act like that. You mean, no hypodermic needles under the fingernails? No, no. No, no, no needles, no knives, no tear gas, no master spy. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh at master spy here. Why isn't he laughing? Oh. Well, I suppose I'll have to rely on the old judo. Judo? Yes. You know, the judo. The unarmed combat. No. <laughs> To get out of that. I've got him now, he can't move. Tell him he can't move. I can't move. He can't move. You see what I mean? What do you mean, Judo? Well, I'll show you. Yeah. So, would you hold my hat for me, please? Mm. Mr. Uh, Mr. Now, suppose for argument's sake. Yes. I'm in a pub, mm. having a nice quiet drink. Yes. You see, spying for you. I'm working for you, spying for you. With a beautiful blonde. You know what I mean? There will be a beautiful blonde. You see? Yes. Now, I'm in this pub, having a nice quiet drink, all by myself. Now, I want you to come at me with a knife. With a knife? I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you. Right, right. I have to get out of it. OK. Ready? Now, I'm in a pub, having a nice quiet drink. I don't know you're there. No. No idea at all. I'm not looking for trouble. No. I mean, let's face it, I've got the most beautiful. <laughs> have not I? Right. right, in this pub. Now, I'll tell you when to come at me. Are you ready? Yes. I'll tell you when. Not yet. Right, come at me now, now. <laughs> see? Now, I've got him now. He can't move. You move. Go on, you try and move. Go on. Just move. What are you doing? That's the knife. Huh? I had the knife in my left hand. I'm left-handed. Huh? Yes. Oh. Boom. <laughs> See? That's very good, that. Excellent. <laughs> Get out of that. Hi, Alan, then. He can't move now. Supposing somebody... Huh? Supposing somebody came at you with a gun. Oh, that's the easiest one in the world, a gun! Yes, really? Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. I'll do it slowly. You're all right, aren't you? Yes, fine. I won't hurt you. No, no. Now, you put the gun in my back. Right. A bit higher. A bit more. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely, that. Now, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah. I'm going to come round mm. slowly. Slowly. You see, and knock the gun out of your hand. Oh, right I see. He's, he's yes, tumbled, yes. he's tumbled, he's tumbled, he's got it now. Yeah, yeah. Right, and then I'm going to give you the ying tong. <laughs> the ying tong? <laughs> no, 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 I do the ying tong, you go <laughs> when I hit you. Oh, I see. You see, but I won't hurt you, you'll be all right. Good looking lad, isn't he? Right, the ying tong. <laughs> I see. You see, right, hey, ready? I'll do it quickly this time. Okay. You're all right? Yes, fine. I won't hurt you. No. There will be a beautiful blonde in this. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Ying tong! Bang! <laughs> Very good. Yes. You see? That was excellent. Very good. <laughs> Get out of that. I have him now. He can't move. He can't move. Now, supposing you were carrying... Eh? Supposing you were carrying secret papers. Oh, great! What a lovely idea. In a briefcase. Yes. Great. Ah, can I borrow your briefcase, Mr... Uh... Do, do. Thank you, Mr. Doodoo. Lovely. Right, now I'm walking down the street, and yeah. this is full of secret documents. I'm working for you, you see. Walking down the street. Now, you try and snatch them. I'll okay. show you what happens. Right. Look at that. See what I mean? See? Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. I'll let him have them, you see. Watch. Move. Move. Go on, move. He can't move. 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 How's he doing? Oh, he'll get it before long. Don't worry about that. He'll get it. Get out of that. You see? I have him now. He can't move. Tell him he can't move. He can't move. He can't move now, you see? Now you try and get out of that. Go on. Get out of what? He got out of it. Uh, all right, come along. We're going to watch some television now. Lovely. Television. Come, Mr. Doodoo, come. This is our own closed circuit television. Secret cameras check 
protection of VIPs entering the country. Now watch this very carefully. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey! See the Beatles, Buckman? Which is Ringo? Which is Ringo? He's my favourite, you know, Ringo. He's my favourite. That is the Russian trade delegation. Ah, uh, that's Sir Edward Seabrook. Does he know Ringo? No, I have no idea. He's the patron of the arts and host of the Russians. Uh, that's Rostov, head of the trade delegation. And that's Madame Petrovna. She's a prima ballerina and idol of the Soviet Union. Uh, these are the people whose protection depends upon you. Mr. Rostov, I'm delighted to welcome you and your colleagues to our capital. Well said. Beautifully said, that. There's a future prime minister there, you know. A future... I'll vote for him. I'll vote for him. I bet he knows Ringo. I bet he knows him. Madame Petrovna, we are to be greatly honoured by your appearance at Covent Garden. Thank you. I hope you will enjoy our new production of Swan Lake. Is she one of the birds I get? Shh. She dances. As well. Well, you've seen the people who must be protected from Schleck. From now on, you're on your own. You're not to set foot in this building until their safety has been assured. If there's any reason for a meeting, an outside rendezvous will be arranged. Of course. <laughs>
right. Let me know as soon as anyone contacts you. Oh, you're not leaving, are you? Oh, don't worry. I'll be around. Somewhere. Well, can I have a quick... Ring for room service. Room service? Oh, could I have a, um... A white lady, please. Thank you. I am Gina Carlotti, there is trouble. Come to my room. Sum me up another white lady, please. Thank you. Vieni, vieni. Are the pubs open, then? <laughs> so we meet at last. The beautiful female spy with a cool, calculating brain. Give us a kiss. Caro mio, there is no time for romancing. Oh, I beg your pardon. Have you anything for me, then? No, niente. I have nothing for you. I wouldn't say nothing. Could I put those in water for you? You are to meet me here again tonight at 8 o'clock. In the meantime, you will please to uh, get rid of him. Can't hold his liquor, eh? He is one of them. Oh, I thought you were one of them. Oh, no, no. I am one of us. Oh. I found him snooping in here, so my friend Carlos, he had to deal with him. A pity you were not here earlier, or you could have done it, no? Of course. Now, I must go, so I leave you to take him away. Don't forget. At eight o'clock, here. Ciao, carino. Do, do bon, do bonne. Come on, lads, you better sober up quickly. We don't want you hanging about here all night, you know. There might be one or two secret things going on. I'm coming off as well. <laughs> Come in. Oh, excuse me. Your white lady, sir. Oh, I prefer the other kind. Good Lord. It's you. It is you, isn't it? Just one of my many facets. <laughs> it's him. Now, listen to me. I'm here. Did anything happen? Yes. A lovely girl came in from that room. Beautiful looking girl, and you should have seen her. Oh, everything. She would be the contact. The contact. Did she have anything? Have any? You're joking. Oh, everything. It was beautiful. I mean, what did she do? She came in here, yes. sang, kissed me, and left. What was the song she sang? The song, it went... Uh, da, de, da, 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 little, da, 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 then she kissed me and left. What do you keep singing for? I was thinking about the song. It might be important. It's not the song that's important. It's the kiss that's important. Smack on the lips. Pow! It was beautiful. Where are you going? Did you go into her room? Why are you so embarrassed? I'm not embarrassed. Did you do something naughty? Shut up. Shut up. I couldn't anyway. There's a fella on the floor in there. A fella on the floor? He's drunk. Drunk? Drunk. My goodness, it's Conway. Conway? Conway? Yes. He's one of us. No. No, he's not. He's one of them. She said so. No, she's one of them. He's one of us. I'm one of us. You're one of us. Oh. Except when you're with her, then you're one of them. Yes. At the same time as you're one of us. But don't tell anybody. Well, I couldn't if I tried, could I? We'd better sober him up then, if he's one of... Us. Us? I'll go get a jug of water. Uh, you're gonna need more than a jug of water to bring him round. Why? He's dead.
Where did that music come from then? <laughs> Get in, Dad. You mean dead drunk? Just dead. Is he? Poor fella. And he was one of you. One of us? No, one of you. I've just resigned. No, don't talk like that. Conway was one of our best men. Oh, well, look what happened to him. What's going to happen to me? I'm one of your worst men. Ah, oh, but you're rated higher. You're much better than Conway. Anybody's better than Conway. Look at him. What are you going to do with him? Well, the department will have to take care of it. Good. Come on, give me a hand. I thought you said the department will take care of it. We are the department. Oh. We've got to get him out of the hotel. Right. efficient ha -ha. some funny people about isn't there yeah now come on we've got to get this to mi5 ha -ha. now wait a minute you give me one good reason why we should push this thing through the streets a certain beautiful italian girl that's a good enough reason come on 
she tell you girl's lovely, isn't she? Oh, beautiful, yes, yes. She's crazy about you. She is, you can tell, can't you? Oh, yes, you can tell. We've got to get rid of her. Carlos. Uh, get me a drink, quickly. Uh, I am not feeling very well. So, what happened to you? <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> now, this is an invitation to Sir Edward Seabrook's reception for the visiting Russians. You will give it to our friend next door. It has been arranged that he will sit next to Petrovna at the dinner. See. Si. Karen will contact him in the foyer downstairs at 7 o'clock before the dinner starts. Mm -hmm. She will give him his final instructions. Oh, uh, did he get rid of the body? See, si. The Major, he seems to have a way with bodies. Caro mio, I do believe you are a little jealous. Maybe, but don't forget, he is a professional killer. <laughs> now, I must go, and I will leave you to him. Remember, he is dangerous, Gina. Be careful. Si, caro, but I have my job to do. Perfect. You look marvellous. Great, eh? Oh, just a minute. Paul, oh, I wish you wouldn't do that. No, don't do that, please. Why not? Well, it's not my handkerchief, it's my shirt. I've got a hole in my top pocket. It's my shirt that comes through, you see. Your shirt? Yes. Hey. Oh, I wish you wouldn't do that. Well, don't waste any time. Get in there. Right. Hey, why are you taking your glasses off? Ah, oh, well, you never know what might happen in there. I mean, I might have to turn on all the old romantic charm to get what I'm after. The message, I mean. And you know what girls are like about fellas with glasses? You mean girls never make passes at fellas that wear glasses? And the opposite sex don't like specs. Without a body. Of, of course. As you know, I'd do anything for a beautiful woman like you. Oh, <laughs> que buffo. How the two of you? No, no, stupido. I am over here. Per favore, would you fix me a little drink? A drink? Uh, certainly, yes. <laughs> Where are the drinks? 
on the sideboard. Oh, well, uh, where's the sideboard? You are standing beside it. Oh. <laughs> Just testing you. A little aperitif. <clears throat> this one is for you. Not too much. And this is mine. Could I have a little drink, please? Another one? <laughs> You're knocking them back, aren't you? Major Cavendish. Who? Oh, yes. <laughs> now, I have something that you want. Take it because I must go. It is an invitation to Sir Edward Seabrook's reception tomorrow night. Karen will contact you in the foyer at 7 o'clock. Karen? Mm hmm Yes. And now, tesoro mio, could I have another little drink? Oh. All right. You know, I was wondering if maybe you... I thought that if... What I was trying... Oh, there you are. You know, a beautiful woman like you... And you are beautiful. I was wondering, now that we've finished our transaction, you and I might be hey, able to... Hey, what are you doing? There's a fella come in. There's a fella. Just come in. I'm sorry. There's a fella in the room. It's me, Anne! Excuse me. Get out. She doesn't know who you are. Get out. I'm sorry. But, but she's not here. Oh. Have you been here all the time? Have I been chatting you up? She just left. Now tell me, what happened? Nothing. I couldn't find her. Oh, yes. She gave me this card. It's an invite to a reception. I'm going to find a girl called Karen. Karen? Karen. She must be the contact. Well, I hope I make better contact with her than what I did with her. You must go there. Are you going as well? Well, of course. But you may not recognize me. Oh. Is it going to be one of those? Yes, sir? Could I have? It is you, isn't it? That's clever, though. That's real cunning. I thought you were a waiter. I am a waiter. Oh, well, I'll have a gin and tonic. I'm not serving you. Move around and get contact. La, 
la 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 Karen? No, over to the gong. The gong? The gong. Karen? No, there on the silver settee. Steady, boy. <laughs> it's me, you fool. <laughs> so it is. I didn't recognize. You could have dropped lucky there. How are you doing? Oh, great. But if you see a girl called Karen, yes. lock her up. Otherwise, she'll spoil everything. Yeah. Are you getting anywhere? Joking. <laughs> well, as soon as you make contact, let me know. Yes, yes, I will. Sir? I'm making quite a few contacts. As you will. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. Yeah. They meet that last major. I'm sorry to have to move you around so much, but uh, precautions are most necessary. Shall we sit down? You know, you did not look like a killer when we first see you, so it was important to check. Yes, well, looks can be very deceptive. But in my case, they aren't. <laughs> Have your armor done? Thank you. Listen carefully. Mm -hmm. Our objective is Petrovna. On the next piece of caviar, you will find a pill. I want you to put it in Petrovna's glass tonight at dinner. Pick it up. Will it bring express relief? Philip will be seated next to you at table if you need any help. Philip? Good luck, my brave friend. Now it is time to go to the reception. Not a word to anyone. Remember, not a word to anyone. saying I can't keep a secret. But you're on our side. Not a word to anyone. They're my orders. Yeah, you're quite right. Eh. Yeah. Well, you mustn't tell me about it. About what? About the, um... Oh, about the... Clever. <laughs> Nearly had me telling you then about putting the pill in the drink. The pill? What pill? The pill you said you mentioned a pill. I never mentioned a pill. Nobody mentioned a pill. Well, they have been known to put the pill in the drink. Ah, oh, well, it's nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. Oh. I tell you what, though. What? You were very close. We'll take that. Sir, thank you. You follow the river to get out. The river? Yes. Yeah. Edward, how wonderfully you've arranged everything for us. Madame, nothing is too much for the greatest ballerina in the world. Oh, you're most kind. Hello there. Uh, good evening. Major Cavendish, isn't it? Who? Oh, me? Yes, I am. I am him. 
I think you have met uh, Madame uh, Petrovna. Oh, many times, yes, yes, many. You twiddle about a bit on the stage, don't you? <laughs> now then, the last time I saw you was at the old Empire Moscow, a beautiful theatre. It's a rank bowling alley now, I'm told. Ba-ching, ba-ching, ba-ching. They send them down, night after night, making a fortune. Pardon. Granted, but don't worry, I have the pill here. It's bound to bring express relief. I shall be busy, did. Uh, most of the guests seem to have arrived. And, uh... Ladies and gentlemen, would you please take your places for dinner? Yes! It is you, isn't it? Eh? I thought it was. Oh, that's clever. That's very clever. How do you do it? Those disguises. Oh, it comes natural to me. I'm a man of many faces. Including that one? Yes. Yeah. That's marvellous. Here, tell me, what are your orders? Table, you know. 
said, I, I had the... Waiter. Yes, sir? I have a complaint to make. Uh, and what is that, sir? There's a dead man in my soup. Madam Patrona. Good morning, madam. Ah, Sir Edward. Oh, I'm still so upset about that poor man who died. Ah, oh, yes, sir. Uh, a shocking business. We're still waiting for the doctor's report. Undoubtedly, it was some form of heart attack. We don't think so. Rostov says there are some people who will stop at nothing to ruin the trade pact between our two peoples. Only criminals are making money through the Cold War, surely, and they're hardly likely to have been at my reception. But I wonder what was that major up to? Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Are you going to Covent Garden now? Oh, yes, we must rehearse. I suppose I couldn't come along and watch. Ballet is the mainspring of my life, you know. Why not? You're most welcome, Sir Edward. Come. I come in then? Yes. A table over there. Are they here then now? Are they here, eh? Hey? Are they? Are you one? Is he one of them? The dead man was a select agent. I know that, don't I? I know that. Somebody must have poisoned him. I know that as well. But the question is, who? I wonder what we're leaning back for, like this. As long as Slick think it was an accident, we'll be all right. That was marvellous, that. It's fantastic. You said that without moving your lips. How long have you been a ventriloquist? Do it again for me. Come on, now, do it again. I think Petrovna's the one they're out to get. Oh, no, I saw your lips moving then. I saw them moving then. Petrovna, we could really destroy the trade pact. That was it. That was marvellous. Not a muscle twitched. That was great. Shut up. No, I saw them moving then. I saw them moving then. If Slick gets suspicious, my man's as good as dead. You're not as good leaning back as what you are leaning forward, you know that? Mm, that's the chance we've got to take. How was it again? That was marvellous. Hey, I'll tell you what. Say Gret and Gutter like they do. Go on. Say Gret and Gutter. I can't do it, is it? Gret and Gutter. What are you Gret talking about? I can't do it. You say it. I'm not a bent. I was talking to Reed and Grant behind. Oh. I was leaning back and talking to them. Didn't want anybody to know that I know them. Oh, that's marvellous. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Major Cavendish here, handing in his resignation. That was a stupid thing to do. The whole thing's stupid, isn't it? We come in here, we sit on chairs, we lean back, we go, I, I don't know, okay, I, whatever. Well, he's stupid. And I've resigned. I'm finished. You can't resign. The whole relationship between East and West depends on you. I'm not worried about that. And you know why? Why? I'm from the North. That's why. Excuse me. Look, don't be like that, but you can't. See? Yeah, understood. Right. Well? Our leader says the real Major Cavendish is dead. He died in Paris. Dead? But who 
is the one with the glasses? Probably working for British intelligence. We must get rid of him quickly. I'm finished with this lark, I'll tell you. Carting dead bodies about. I'm a hot froth maker. That's what I am. I make hot froth. That's what I was trained to do. Make hot froth. Now, where are the birds? You promised me birds, he said. You get lovely birds, he said. What do I get? I get women coming up going. That's no good to a man of my age. Good. That's a funny disguise. I like that. I'm not in disguise. I'm normal. What about the wig? Look, I must have a word with you. It's most... Im What's that? Oh, it's an advert for the film. Roxy Cinema, row E, seat 4, 7.30 tonight. Hey, listen. This must be another contact from Slect. You must go there. Oh, no. I'm going back to my old job. Hot froth and birds. Better than that. Hot birds and froth. It's a good film, one at the Roxy. That's what I'd like to do now and again. Go to the cinema once in a while. I don't blame you. Yeah, what's on there? Robert Mitchum. Oh, I like him. He's a good actor, that. Yeah. What's he in? The Wonderful Country. Oh, I miss that one. Yeah. What time does he start? 7.30. 7.30? Would you like me to book your ticket? Would you do that? Yeah. How about, uh, Rowie, seat four? Yeah, that would do fine, yeah. Robert Mitchum. He's the one that walks like this, isn't he? No, 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 he doesn't walk like that. He walks more like this. Yeah, way, that's a little John Wayne, that. Robert Mitchum walks like this, I'm telling you. Row E, sir. It's you, isn't it? Oh, oh, that's marvellous. That's your best one yet. Do you think so? That's, I bet you have a double of your mother, aren't you? <laughs> hey? Oh, it's cheeky. Oh, it's got a cheeky face. <laughs> I am. Get my seat. Seat four.
you get one? Yes, yes, I got it. Oh, good. Excuse me, that, that is my seat. You see, because I might get a message in that seat. I'm expecting a message in that seat. If that seat gets a message, would you, would you pass it on to me, please? Excuse me, I was saying, if, if that... Oh, it's you. Oh. Do you know you've got a knife in your back? Eh? I think you do. You haven't suddenly got cold feet, have you? I haven't. He has. There's a man sat there with a knife in the middle of his back, and he's sat in the seat that I should have been sat in, and he's dead. Your seat? Yes. Hey, I think that knife was meant for you. That thought had... Sorry. That thought had occurred to me. And I've come to a conclusion. I know what I'm going to do. And what's that? <laughs> Oi! Look, you can't just back out now. We need you. You can't just give up. We've given you a license to kill. I'd rather have a license to surrender. Listen, listen, they'll take me off the case. So? So? But this is a wonderful chance for me. A golden opportunity to make something of my life. Look, there's only one thing I want to do before I die. What's that? Live a long time. All right, all right. Oh, oh. If, if you won't do it for me, do it for your country. For England. Look what she's done for you. She's fed you, clothed you, educated you, housed you. And look at the result here. A coward. I don't want an assassin's bullet finishing me off. Well, he won't necessarily kill you. There's plenty of places where a bullet could go clean through without much pain. You only think of yourself. I'm entitled to, because I'm the only one I've got. But listen! Listen, if you could only remember that tune, I'm sure it would put us onto their plans. Not interesting. Go on. Do it for me. No. Uh... Well, do it for me. Yes. No. No. Will you do it for me? Pun? I want you to do it. Say you will, darling. Just for me. Say you'll do it. All right. I'll do it. Thank you, darling. I'll see you later. Have you ever had the feeling you've missed out on something? Oh, never mind about that. You said you'd do it. Yeah, but what was it I said I'd do? Now, listen, are you sure you can't remember this tune? You know, the one that they sing to you be before they speak? I keep telling you. what It goes... Tom, 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 Beautiful, beautiful. Is that the tune? No, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Eh? How does it go? I keep telling you. Ta 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 Twilight, when the lights are low, and the whispering shadows soft. No, that's the same tune. Ah, you know what it's from. It's from that, um, the opera. Opera? Uh, Swan Lake. Swan that one, where all the fellas run on with spears and jig about a lot. Do you mean to tell me that you knew the title and you never told me? You never asked me the title. You just, you just keep saying, how's it go? How's it go, you keep saying. I keep telling you, it goes... When the lights No, no, I... Listen, I know how it goes. How's it go, then? How's it go? Go on, you don't talk. You tell me how it goes. Go on. Swan Lake, first movement. Go on, now, go on, go on. Um, 
La da 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 di da da la da 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 See? Well, let's not waste any time. Come on, let's go. Wait a moment. I'm not going anywhere. I haven't understood this from the beginning. What is it all about? Just a song. Pretty clever. Pretty clever thinking, I must say. I'm filled with admiration. Eh? The way you tied it all in, you know. The way you found the connection between Swan Lake and Petrovna. That's pretty smart. Me? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I do have a flash of inspiration now and again, you know what I mean? But what do you think we should do about it? There's only one thing to do. What? We've got to find out where this lake is. Covent Garden? Well, we'll go there. And we'll get a boat out to it. That's right. the thing. Yeah. Well, what, what do you want me to do? Well, you go there, get changed, yes. and I'll see you there. Right. 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 Yeah. No, just a moment. I've done it again. It's about time you got here. You didn't recognize me, did you? No, 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 no. You fooled me completely. Have a cigar. Thank you. I haven't overdone it, have I? No, not in the least. No. Sleigh bells. Cossack. Watch it. That's all. Just watch it. Now follow me and remember, you're supposed to be a ballet dancer. There's a man following us. So what do you expect, walking like this? Now, don't forget you're a Russian, so speak Russian. Oh, excuse me, sir. Drobnovich, uh, Moscow, uh, Nadinsky. Hey, Falkak, Kilmarnik, Partak Fussel, Her, Far, Motherwell One, Farzil Two, It's a broad brick, more like lick, the neck. This time, Petrovna must die. If you fail, I shall have to kill her myself. I won't fail. Anything happened yet? No, not yet. All right, I'll get back to the front of the house. Right. Uh, refills for the fire extinguishers. You'll have to hurry. The curtain goes up soon. Do you know your way? Yes. Right. We must be very careful. I'll go in here and find myself a good disguise. It's a good idea. Vernon, <laughs> how do you do it so quickly? This is fantastic. Not only do you look like your mother, but you are your mother. I'm proud of you. Proud of you. There's two of you. How have you done it? Cheeky, how have you done it? With mirrors, isn't it? Hey, with mirrors. Here. Have a cigar. Come on. Everything all right? Yeah, it's all fixed. I want you to keep your eyes open for any of the select gang. Yeah. Could be any one of these here. Anyone, yes. Could be him. Nah, none of them dressed like that.
That's Petrovna. Don't let her out of your sight. Right. Good evening, Madame Petrovna. Hardly necessary to wish you good luck. It is always necessary. And somehow tonight, I am so nervous. Who is that man? Hey, you. No, you. Excuse me. Good luck. Who are you? Ah, now, are you English or Russian? English. Ah, well, the pro blocks blah. Gunga wah, gunga wah. Stoi tu jeleiti. With his claymore. To vam dal razdrishenie is desbit. Hold. Just watch it, Fred. That's all. Just watch it. <laughs> all right, house lights. Don't you move. Pista. Pista! What did he say? He told me not to move. Good. Now you've done it. Come on. It's all burned. Let me know that. Ничего, ничего, дорогая. Use this. 
Ha, ha. Do you know nothing about opera, do you? No. Well, look, what happens is, they get an apple, mm -hmm. and they put it on a little girl's head. Yeah. They fire this, it misses. You see? It's from Robin Hood. William Tell. Well, he should have kept his mouth shut. Put that down. Tell me, sorry. <laughs> you again. Okay. On our side. Yeah, they are, of course. Well, what are we keeping it away for? I don't know. Come on. Ah, oh, no. I've done enough running. Yeah. I'm going in here. Yeah. What's in here? Who was it? It's that select agent. The one we're after. Run. Run. Wait a minute. We should be chasing him, not him chasing us. Of course. I was right the first time. Run! He's dead. My poor Ivan. Please, help me to take him to my room. Superb, out of this world. Such a sad story, though. Um, doesn't the Swan Queen die in the end? It's uh, only a fairy tale. <laughs> Even a fairy tale. Sometimes someone has to die. What's happened? Ivan has been murdered. Who? Madame Petrovna's bodyguard. We must stop the ballet at once. No, 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 no. I, I am not afraid. On the stage, among my company, I shall be safe. <laughs> You know, the one with the gun. Oh, he was in there. Of course, if he still is. Oh, coward. He's gone. I know that. He must have gone into hiding. Yes. We must look in the most unlikely places. I'll look in the girls' dressing rooms. No, no, no. He's probably on the side of the stage. You're so right. I'll look in the girls' dressing rooms. Yeah, this way. Now, 
You go this way. I'll go that way. Right. You got a good view from here, don't you? All right. Oh. I warn you, this can kill. Get back there. It's, it's cold. Hey. Has the advantage of being completely silent. Could, could I make one last request? What? Don't fire it. <laughs> oh, are you all right? Ugh. Reed, take him away. You fools, the ballerina will still die tonight. What's he say? What's he say then? But I'm off. No, no, you're not. You're both going to keep your eyes on Petrovna. On the other side of the stage. Oh, no, not across the stage. You're behind the scenery. Behind the scenery, not across the stage. Oh, idiot, idiot. The killer is definitely still here. You cover the auditorium. I'll watch in the wings. Right, sir. Come 
right. Come on, yes. This way. You can't move now, can you? You're paralyzed on one side. You can't move. <laughs> He's left-handed. He had the knife in his left hand. Did he? Yes. That's clever. <laughs> I was going to vote for you. I was going to vote for him. I know it was him all the time. You didn't. I did. I tried to tell you in the dance. You never said it. Yes, I did. You I never did. mentioned your did. name. All right, Reed. Well done, Sage. <laughs> Just a moment. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello there, can I help you? Nice to see you again. Well, I you. No, I, I just thought I'd pop in in case there was a party going on, you know. Party? A party. Well, there's no party here. Oh. No, because if you remember, I, I was promised a bird, you know. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I was promised. Yeah. For my part in the international incident. Oh, no, no, this is just a small staff party. You know what government departments are like. You can't get them to spend a penny, can you? <laughs> <laughs> well, could I have some government chicken? Huh? Because if that's the only bird I'm going to get, I'll settle for that. Well, you know how it is. Oh, how is it? It looks delicious. Oh, I'd love to help you, but my hands are tied. Yes, well, I can see that. Mm. I tell you what, I'll have a word with the chief. Maybe you can fix it up with a cup of tea, eh? My name carries quite a bit of weight around here now, you know. Well, it's entitled to with all the food you're scoffing. <laughs> that cup of tea? Cup of tea? Yeah. yeah. No, thanks. No, there's a corned beef sandwich over there. Look, over there. No, it's not. No, I understand. Eh? Huh? Hmm? No, I'll go home. No, wait a minute. What's, what's the matter? Don't go. Listen. Look, come back. Come back. Just a minute. Excuse me. You. Why do you keep following me, eh? Why do you keep following me? The film's over. Oh, thank you. Idiot. What did you say the film was over for? Well, it is a film, isn't it? Now you're giving the game away. Ah, now. shut up. Oh, I've been taking acting lessons. <laughs> oh, dear.